Medlan constant for a two-dimensional infinite array. Calculate the Medlan constant for an infinite array of two-dimensional ionic charge distribution, that is to say, a two-dimensional sodium chloride crystal with equilibrium ion separation R sub E. So let's remember that for an ionic crystal, The pair potential is given by two contributions, uh, uij for the pair potential between i and j atoms is minus q square over rij, the distance between the two atoms, that's the Coulomb potential plus lambda times e to the minus r uh, ij over rho. This is basically due to repulsive term due to Pauli exclusion principle. We have the Coulomb constant k equals 1 in CGS. So this is a CGS equation. And r ij is the distance between Ith and Jth ions. Okay, now if we write the total energy of the crystal, the total energy of the crystal is capital U. We have to sum over the pair potentials and we have to include a factor of one half to uh, avoid double counting. That is sum over i and j, u, i, j, uh, where i is not equal to uh, j, obviously. This is capital N times u, i, where we have a uh, ui as sum over j so we're, we're taking the ith atom and we're calculating its interaction potential with all the other atoms lambda e to the minus r i j over rho plus or minus q square over r i j plus or minus that depends on uh, the charge signs so this sign will be determined by charge signs if it's attractive or repulsive now capital n is the number of molecules in this case uh, so what is u sub i that u sub i will be the total potential total potential energy of the ith reference atom. So we go through all possible atoms and calculate the total potential energy. Then we have to divide it by two uh, so that we, then we're talking about number of uh, molecules uh, in the sodium chloride crystal and that's basically how we calculate the uh, total energy of the crystal so uh, now uh, we're going to uh, assume that the repulsive term is effective only between nearest neighbors so uh, assuming which is a pretty good assumption, the repulsive term, the exponential term that is due to Pauli exclusion principle, as we have discussed in the lecture, is effective only for the nearest neighbors. That's our nearest neighbor approximation. 
then we can write this total energy U as number of molecules, coordination number Z, lambda e to the minus R0 over rho, uh, minus sum I not equal to J, plus or minus Q square divided by Pij times R0. So uh, R0 is what I'm calling the nearest neighbor distance. And Z is my coordination number. That's the number of uh, nearest neighbors. Coordination number. So uh, this can be written as capital N times Z lambda e to the minus R0 over rho poly exclusion term minus alpha times Q square divided by R0. So here we have defined uh, alpha as sum I not equal to J plus or minus 1 divided by uh, Pij, where Rij, the distance between I and J ion, is a multiple Pij of a multiple of the nearest neighbor distance R0. That uh, factor is Pij. So this is called alpha is the Madlung constant. So that's what we are after for our two-dimensional uh, sodium chloride crystal. So let's concentrate on the sodium chloride two-dimensional crystal. We have a positively charged sodium ion, negatively charged chlorine ion, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, etc. So this goes in two dimensions. It's an infinite array. So uh, the nearest neighbor distance between sodium and chlorine ions is R0. Then we have R0 uh, square root 2, second nearest neighbor. And then we have 2R0, that's in between two sodium ions. Then we have R0 square root 5. Then we have R0 square root 8. Then we have 3R0, that is here. Then we have R0 square root 10, R0 square root 13, R0 square root, uh, then we have 4R0 and R0 square root 18, etc. So this goes on and on like this. So here we have to see the charge signs for the ones at R0 we have plus minus. For the ones at R0 square root 2 we have plus plus. 2R0 we have plus plus. R0 square root 5, we have plus minus. R0 square root 8, we have plus plus. 3R0, we have plus minus. Uh, R0 square root 10, we have plus plus. R0 square root 13, we have plus minus. And 4R0, we have plus plus. Okay, so now uh, we can basically start calculating the Medlan constant. Uh, for the reference ion at the corner, the number of neighbors, the nearest neighbors, we have to uh, find uh, the number of nearest neighbors will be uh, the, the ones at a distance R0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that, that will be 4. The second nearest neighbors at a distance R0 square root 2 will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, we have another 4 here. The third nearest neighbors at a distance 2R0, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so that's 4. Fourth nearest neighbors, R0 square root 5, we will have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 of them. Yes, and you can go with this exercise for the other uh, neighbors. You will find that we will have 4, 4, 8, 8, 4. Okay, so for a charge pair,
that is a positive charge and negative charge we have the medlan constant becoming positive why because we we need to have attractive potential so this this has a minus sign here and for a positive positive repul we need repulsive term then medlan constant should have a negative value so alpha uh, contribution will be negative so this will be minus one so that this will be plus and we will have a repulsive term so uh, we can calculate the medlan constant here alpha is equal to for the uh, nearest neighbors at a distance uh, r0 we have uh, pig equals one so we will have four divided by one uh, for the second nearest neighbors at a distance r0 square root 2, uh, we have four of them. So uh, because the factor here is square root 2, this pij will be uh, square root 2 for the second ones. And it's going to be uh, for the second ones, we have a positive positive uh, contribution. So that means we should have a negative a contribution to alpha so this will be minus 4 over uh, square root 2 then we go to the next one the third nearest neighbor third nearest neighbor at a distance uh, 2r0 plus plus so we will have a negative contribution number of uh, those are 4 so we will have minus 4 over uh, 2 to r0 then we have r0 square root 5 plus minus that means the contribution should be positive plus and we have eight of them so we will have uh, eight divided by square root 5 and if we continue like this then we have next term minus 4 over uh, square root 8 so after square root 5, we have square root 8, the fifth nearest neighbors. Uh, then we have six nearest neighbors. There's four of them. Four divided by, they are at a distance 3, R0, and plus minus. So we will have a positive alpha contribution, uh, 3. And then we have minus 8 over square root 10 for the ones at R0 square root 10. And the, the ones at r0 square root 13, we will have plus 8 over square root 13. So let me check that one. r0 square root 13, 8 nearest neighbors, this plus minus. So we should have a positive contribution to alpha. And there's 8 of them. And then we have uh, minus 4 over 4 r0, etc. So this summation continues so if you calculate these numbers we have 1.1716 plus 0 0.1635 plus 0 0.022 etc so these continue alpha is 1.3571 plus higher order terms so you can calculate approximate alpha value by take considering uh, these uh, 10 uh, contributions from nearest neighbors to the ninth nearest neighbor. So if you take this uh, to the extreme, um, so if you consider all of them, of course, this will be, the alpha will be greater than uh, this, uh, probably. But uh, so this is our first approximation to alpha for the Medlan constant for this case. So we have considered an infinite array of two dimensional ionic charge distribution sodium chloride crystal. Here I review the theory behind it and we, we consider the nearest neighbors for the Pauli exclusion uh, only being effective. So we have the coordination number z times lambda e to the minus r0. The number of nearest neighbors here is 4, right? So this z would be 4 in that case. And then we have minus alpha q squared over r0, our Coulomb uh, potential, 
uh, if it's attractive, uh, we have this minus sign here, but alpha has an alternating contribution as plus one or minus one over pij, where pij is the coefficient uh, in, in front of r0, so that describes our distance between neighbors in terms of the nearest neighbor distance, a factor of nearest neighbor distance. So here we have listed all the possibilities uh, up to the ninth nearest neighbor and uh, we looked at the, the signs of the charges and for positive positive we have alpha negative so that if alpha is negative this is going to become plus so that will be repulsive positive negative alpha will be positive so that this will be uh, negative uh, over after all and it's going to be attractive so putting in the numbers for uh, all the nearest neighbors, the number of nearest neighbors divided by pij, which is uh, 1, for example, for the nearest neighbor, r0, uh, and also paying attention to the signs, depending on the signs of the two charges, uh, we can obtain uh, a first approximation to the Madlang constant.